Hello guys, welcome to Psychology Freedom. So another typing episode which is requested by Miss Cute. Ang request niya si uh, previous president uh, Ferdinand Marcos Sr. So ayan, so interesting na malaman kasi nalaman na natin yung yung personality type ni President Bongbong Marcos. So Maganda rin na malaman natin kung ano yung personality type ng father niya para malaman natin yung dynamics ng relationship nila, kung compatible ba sila or hindi. So, ayan. Kay Miss Cute, thank you so much for requesting this. Uh, actually, I was waiting for people to request this. So, ayan. Simulan na natin. Siyempre, uh, paano natin siya type uh, Alamin muna natin kung ano yung cognitive functions niya. Uh, FIT user ba siya or TIFE? NESI user ba siya or SENI? Ang interaction style niya, direct ba siya or informative, responding ba siya or initiating, movement ba siya or control, and then yung temperament niya, abstract ba siya or concrete, affiliative or pragmatic, then systematic or interest-based. So, ayan, simulan na natin. I uh, have not um, grab power uh, as some people would uh, put it. In the first place, I was duly elected as president in 1969. If uh, it is of any... Um... I was duly elected. That's kind of an SI. What happened to me in the past. So that's introverted sensing. Meaning at all, the Supreme Court has just uh, sustained uh, that decision of our people. Uh, indicating the right that these, uh, the elections uh, were clean and that the ma majority of almost two million uh, uh, indicated the uh, will of uh, the people. Second... Talking about the will of the people, other people's will, other people's wants, that's extroverted intuition. The Constitution of the Philippines is uh, an articulation of uh, what the people uh, desire. And in that... Talking about what the people desire, iba nga, kasi sabi ko lang kanina, what people wants or what people desire, uh, aware siya, so that's extroverted intuition constitution is included the exercise by the president no, I... is included the action of uh, what the people uh, desire and in that constitution is included the exercise by the president of uh, the powers that i am exercising now under the conditions uh, that are kind of systematic kasi ito yung ano system ng constitution or system ng um ano ba ng ng rules, rules and ano, na nasa batas. Right. Those conditions are that there is the threat or, or there is um, invasion, insurrection, rebellion, or imminent danger thereof. This matter has been studied to a point where the Supreme Court, our own Supreme Court in the Philippines, in the, the uh, case on which a decision was uh, promulgated on December 10th, uh, December 11th. Kind of nag-initiate siya doon, nag-go off tangent siya, or nag-initiate siya. 1971, uh, that uh, there does uh, exist a rebellion by uh, another armed force, other than the armed forces of the Philippines, uh, of the government, which uh, seeks to um, grab political authority by uh, violence. Therefore, if there be a rebellion, and since the public safety requires it, the exercise of this power was declared the valid, legitimate, and constitutional. Valid, le legitimate, and constitutional, kasi yun yung system. By our Supreme Court. Uh, in every rebellion, that there is a second way. Okay, so, punta tayo sa ibang interview. Oh, more than that, Lee Kuan Yew is still holding the powers, but what I want to do is for them to make the decisions. I do. What I want to do is for them to make decisions. So, I, I want to give them freedom to make choices. So, that's extroverted intuition. And E, akala mo nung una, I wanted, kasi I want, akala mo N, I. Pero, after nung second sentence niya, I want them to make decisions. So, 
it means any user siya. Yeah, any users kasi, di ba, give freedom of choice to other people. Don't intervene at all. I just stand aside. And I don't intervene at all. Kasi decision nila yun, di ba? N-E again. And uh, don't, uh, well, uh, do anything unless it becomes so urgent that you have to uh, hold back uh, the uh, 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 any uh, venal, truly venal and truly corruptive uh, decisions or unwise uh, um, judgments. But, uh, you know, um, I've been uh, satisfied with uh, the conduct, for instance, of the, the cabinet members and, and the Batas and Pambansa. Nag-initiate siya doon. Uh, to be frank with you, um, I floated the idea of an election for president and then left it at that. I refused to talk to anyone about it. I floated the idea of blah 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 introverted and in, introverted sensing what i did in the past or my own experience i said no you decide you go around the country and work on it it's about time i said you started working without me uh, it's not because i am becoming uh, too old too lazy or anything like that i can still outrun any of you anytime but the thing is you've got to do some working uh, you've got to be able to operate the government without me. I can't last forever. Mr. President. Speaking as a matter of fact, I can outrun anybody. Sabi niya, I cannot be here forever. That's introverted sensing. This is what's true. Uh, there has been some speculation in some of the press uh, that Ninoy Aquino would like to come back to the Philippines. Is there any truth in that? And if so, would you let him I come would, back? Uh, I wouldn't know. The last time I heard was that he was not uh, coming back until after his stint with uh, Harvard. He indeed, of course, uh, indicated a desire to come here uh, on the, the um, excuse that it was necessary to stop uh, any uh, violence, and it was necessary for him to convince his friends here to allow a phasing out of martial law instead of a sudden lifting and that they should and to convince them to cooperate with me. My answer to that was uh, perhaps it would be better if he left everybody alone. Perhaps it would be better. Kind of informative because he ang mga direct na tao, um, ano ba, paano, paano ko ba explain yung pag, uh, sabi, niya, sabi niya, it would be better if he left everybody alone. Parang, uh, nagbibigyan lang siya ng information na ganito yung mas mabuting mangyari. Pero hindi siya direct na, kasi yung mga direct, parang napap, napapagkamalan sila as bossy. They will just say na, leave everybody alone. Ganun yung mga direct. Pero mga informative, they still give you a choice to decide what you want to do or to decide your role. And uh, if he wants to come back, come back on his own. and not under the. If he wants to come back, what, what, uh, other people's once again, extroverted intuition. The text that is going to help me because I don't think his presence will be of much help in the sense that his presence usually generates controversy. Uh, speaking as a matter of fact, introverted thinking, this is what's true. He is such a type of a man that even among the ranks of the opposition, he will invite uh, quarrels. Uh, the other opposition... The what other people are going to do in the future or um, what other people will do even before they do it. Napi predict niya. So that's extroverted intuition. It is. It's so indicated to me. And uh, so uh, he, I think, has changed his mind. He'll probably come back after uh, Harvard. And we have enough time to decide then what to do with him. What does he want to do? Right? 
I, I'm all- what does he want to do? I'm all about what other people want. So that's extroverted intuition. Open-minded. He is not. Yung mga open-minded, yung mga, um, usually, mga NE hero. Pero let's see. But after all, uh, that important uh, in the sense that uh, the opposition will help to decide, first of all, is he their leader or not? Now, right now, I'm listening to voices other than that of Aquino. I hear Jerry Rowe. So, sabi niya, it's the opposition's decision if they want to to see their leader or not. So, hindi, siya, hindi pa rin siya yung nagde-decide. He lets other people decide. So, that's extrovert intuition. I hear um, Tanyada. I hear Jokno is not signed the Unido paper. They want to keep their distance from the others, other the opposition leaders. They want to, they want, they want. So sure na tayo dyan, extroverted intuition. N-E-S-I. I hear uh, that uh, the uh, liberals want to be separated from the nationalists and the independent groups want to be separated from uh, the uh, two other parties. Now, uh, if this uh, continues by 1984, uh, they'll uh, wreck their chances for Rekamba. If this continues, they will wreck their chances to for a comeback. So that's abstract. Uh, what if statement? Kasi yun, um, focus siya sa possible na mangyari. So even hindi pa siya nangyayari. So abstract. To at least control a, a substantial uh, uh, membership in the, the 200 men. And... Uh, that would be a pity because uh, we would like to have a parliament where there is full free debate. Look, I grew up in an atmosphere. That's a new topic na initiate niya. Of free debate. I grew up in SI, SI. I love debate. I, I'd like to meet an... Actually, he's looking like an ENPP, which is also known as parang natnabansagan din as the debater uh, kasi nga they love to debate pero let's verify pa din yung interaction style and temperament niya anybody who, who um, disagrees with it I've said so repeatedly in the past and I say so again I've said so in the past and I said again and then parang may pagka-movement siya focus sa speed they want uh, we want a part. We want, we want. When you're talking about what the collective wants or what other people want or what all of the people want, <laughs> that's extroverted intuition pa din. Parliament and a national assembly where all sectors of the community will have a chance to be heard through their representatives and uh, where as your... Um, Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes has said the uh, um, truth may come out of the free trade of ideas. Truth may come out um, with the free trade of ideas. So he's all about truth, which is introverted thinking. I, uh, um, I believe that I am not alone. I believe that my generation is used to this kind of uh, give and uh, take, uh, the, this unfortunate uh, uh, conclusion of some of the um, Western observers of the effect that we set up this dictatorship because we are afraid of free speech and free debate just isn't correct. It's not true. Now we're afraid of free debate. So introverted thinking again. You know, I'm very happy to hear you say this morning that you disagreed with one of the column columnists in the newspapers. Uh, I think that's a very healthy sign, too. Oh, they have been, they have been coming to all kinds of conclusions. And, of course, my idea uh, of uh, a uh, um, of a free uh, uh, press is everybody should express his uh, views and uh, let uh, uh, the truth uh, uh, come out. 
Everybody should express their views and let the truth come out. That's introverted thinking again. And then may pagka-movement siya, di ba? Galaw na galaw yung kamay niya. Tapos... This isn't going to stop me from uh, speaking out loud and clear when I hear somebody uh, saying an obvious lie. Like uh, the Unido paper saying that on his speech proclaiming martial law He promised that he would terminate martial law at the end of his term in 73. I did no such thing. I never said anything like it. I was very, very cautious because I did not know whether I would end up <coughs> fighting in the hills or, or just giving up uh, to uh, uh, the, the superior forces of the enemy. We count I do not know whether what I would end up, whether I would give up niya magigive up siya sa mga parang ano ba uh, opposition or uh, ano pa isa sinabi niya isa so parang ganun hindi siya ganun ka aware sa sa kung ano mangyayari sa kanya in the future so more on mababa yung introverted intuition niya so low ni counted the guns that they were holding and we realized that they had more guns than the armed forces of the Philippines So we had to pick them one by one. Napoleon style, shades of Austerlitz and all that rock. <laughs> But do you think that there'll be any unhappiness on the part of the military with martial law being lifted? Any temptation since they have had a reasonable amount of power? No, I don't believe so because uh, the military has uh, uh, voluntarily subordinated itself to the civil government, even under martial law. You see, Our martial law is the American type. The... Nag-initiate na naman siya. Our martial law is the American type. So, more on yung interaction, interaction style niya, more on informative initiating movement. The European type. The European type of martial law is where the military takes over the entire government. It's a state of seeds of war. Systematic. Ito yung system ng European something. Or Whereas uh, the American type, as explained by all your experts, Bordick and uh, Willoughby and the rest of them, uh, is... Very informative. He goes on and on. Where the civil government calls in the military and says, look, this is, these are our decisions. Will you enforce them? Ang kabilang bilinan ko kay Mrs. Corazon Akin ay pagpatuloy ang bataan nuclear plant kung maaari. Pagpatuloy kung maaari, very informative, hindi direct, hindi, hindi siya nagka-come off as bossy, like direct people. Pagkat uh, I told her, uh, this is the uh, solutions and meeting. This is the solution, problem solving, that's introverted thinking. The country's energy demands and decreasing dependence on imported oil. One decreasing dependence sa imported oil. So, parang he wants the Philippines to be independent from other country when it comes to parang mang energy, ganyan. So, may pagka-pragmatic kasi being pragmatic is all about independence, ba? Diba? While affiliative, all about collaboration. So, Unit, uh, ayaw niyang uh, tanggapin. Ayaw niya. She doesn't want this or ganyan. All about what other people want. Extroverted intuition ang uh, aking uh, mungkay at uh, maala aking suggestion kasi mga informative they on, only suggest but direct they they command wala daw ng taong bayan si Marcos habang ang dyan ng bataan ng klapan anong klaseng pag-iisip yan anong klaseng pag-iisip yan so TE critic extroverted thinking critic kini criticize na yung thinking ng ibang tao just like any other ENTP di ba teka lang ayun ay paghihiganti wag natin idamay sa boy ng Pilipino wag natin idamay ang mga Pilipino extroverted feeling she cares about uh, the Filipinos no kanya te bala nga raw may ah, she or he pala <laughs> kita niya 20 years from now baksak na ang Pilipinas 20 years from now, bagsak na yung Pilipinas, abstract, what if statement, and then extroverted intuition din yun, what will happen in the future. 
So ayan, convinced na ako sa na si ex-president Ferdinand Marcos ay isang intellectual or isang ENTP which it's not it's not really a surprise um um with regards to diba how how innovative he is or how good of a thinker he is so ayan so ENTP also known as the visionary yan si uh ex president Ferdinand Bongbong Ma- uh, Bongbong Marcos tuloy Ferdinand Marcos Sr. ang mga ka personality type niya si Steve Jobs sino pa ba uh, sino pa ba actually si Jim Carrey ENTP din yon si Abraham Wilco Will A- Abraham Lincoln na dati ding president ng United States is also an ENTP so ayan very innovative So ayun lang kay Miss Q, thank you very much for requesting this. Na-enjoy ko talaga yung pag-type dito kay uh President ex-President Ferdinand Marcos Sr. So ayun lang, thank you very much. See you sa next video.